Hi, this is Aaron with iPhone App Daily. Today we have Skype. Now this was just released. Uh, as most of you probably already know, Skype is a voice over IP dialing. And as you can see, it's, lo it's logging me in. I already put in my password and username. And um, it, this brings you up to whatever the last dialog screen you were on. So here's the uh, dial pad. You can dial, you know, whatever you want. Um, you've got your contacts here. We'll hit the contact, and this is your actual contacts from within um, the iPhone itself, and you can use that over Skype. The one catch, though, you have to use Wi-Fi. You can't use this over the 3G network. So there's 1-800-MY-APPLE. We'll hit call, and it crashed. So that may be due to this being iPhone 3.0. Um, I can't really tell you that for sure. Uh, this does have the 3.0 development software on here, so it could be part of that. You know, we can't discount that, that as being part of the issue. Um, it does make calls. I have placed a couple calls before. Um, let's go to our contacts on the left here. You've got an echo sound test. Um, I don't have a lot of, I'm not going to go to all, but that's all of your contacts listed there. You can scroll. If you have a bunch of contacts, you can search by scrolling uh, through the uh, alphabet scroll list here. Um, if you have chats, there's a chat option on the bottom, all in new. So you know new chat messages, I'm not chatting with anyone. You've got the call option, which we saw when we loaded the program. Then you've got history of who you've called. A couple make, I've made a couple Skype test calls. As you can see, it's pretty early in the morning. Um, and then you have my info. Now this is me, I'm online. Edit profile, you can put in a Skype credit. Um, you've got your online number and your voicemail, that's it. We can take a picture um, with the camera or put our own picture in the profile. Um, and it will work just like Skype. If you're familiar with Skype on, on PC or Mac, um, you'll be familiar with this. So let's go back and uh, let's place a test call and see if we can get that to work this time. Um, contacts, we'll do an echo sound test and see what happens. So brings up your contact. You've got the profile of the person. You can chat with them or you can call them. We'll call. And let's see what happens. I did depress the button here. Let's see. Yep. So just taking a second to respond. And as you can see, it's starting to call. Looks very much just like the regular iPhone when you're making a test call. And for whatever reason, it's taking a moment to initialize. Sometimes this is really fast. Let's turn on the speakerphone. Now I don't hear anything, uh, but this has worked in the past. You can see the ringer popped up. And I don't know if this is due to this again being iPhone 3.0 software, uh, but I, I do have to say it does work well when it's working. Um, and it dropped the call. So let's try it one more time and see what happens here. And it does take a second to respond. Um, there we go. You know, and you have your end call option, just like the iPhone. If you're familiar with using the iPhone uh, on an iPod Touch, this may be a little bit new to you, but it's so uh, so straightforward, it's not a big deal. And as you can see, it is a bit sluggish, but like I said, uh, here, here we go. And um, you've got your mute and hold options, but it is it is acting a little bit strange right now. Um, I don't again I don't know if that's because it's iPhone 3.0. It is the first revision. It's a free app, so check it out. This is Skype, and this is Aaron with iPhone App Daily. We'll see you next time.